Are y'all ready? Mm-hmm. In five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Banger, banger, banger. Oh, tweet it, tweet it, tweet Church announcements real quick. We only have tickets left to our Chicago and Houston book tour dates. time. Featuring Kevin Fredericks, Melissa Fredericks, Marcus and Angel Tanksley. Uh, the week of September 13th, that Thursday and Friday is, uh, Houston and Chicago. Please get your tickets. Um, there, I have announced some dates of my own. Yes, you did. Going back on the road this evening, this fall, <laughs> this quarter this three, evening. quarter four, mostly quarter four. That starts in Q4. So it's Q4 Patreon in- has all the dates, uh, they're going to get the ticket links before everybody, but these are the tickets. I mean, these are the cities that I am pulling up for this year. This likely will be it for this year. San Jose, Burbank, Ontario, California, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. Come on, Pittsburgh. you can do it. Yep. I believe Pittsburgh in you. Too. Pittsburgh, I believe in you. Too. Pittsburgh, Pa, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Raleigh, North Carolina, and West. Is it Nyack or Nack or Yak? West Nyack. New York. I didn't even. Let me not. West Nyack. I, I didn't. Which is not upstate New York. It's about an. Because we did say we'd never go back to upstate. We did. It's about 30, 30, 40 minutes north of Yonkers. You doing a whole new hour. Wow. How much of that hour and do you have written? Zero. Wait, you <laughs> the whole hour written. You're doing a new hour in two weeks? Yep. All right. <laughs> Come on, Kev. I love this. <laughs> Uh, luckily I'll be hosting for some of these so I can do it in 10, 15 minute increments as opposed to having to memorize the whole thing. Oh, you're not going to headline? No, not all these. We have to okay. keep your distance tonight? Keep your distance today. Is it? Okay. Yeah. My mama's been wanting to go. To bring Dorothy down! I'm, I'm having Dorothy go. Come on and bring Dorothy May! Let me text her right now. She should uh, be watching right now. She she should be if she ain't in a meeting. West Nyack. All right. West Nyack. West uh, Nashville, Yuck. I'll be coming next year. Yuck. All the big cities, I'll be coming next year. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get it together. So just hush. All right, <laughs> let's begin this episode. So I don't know who this man was, but a couple weeks ago, oh, I wouldn't even watch the video because I saw <laughs> this guy <laughs> acted like he went to McDonald's with monkeypox. Um, my bad I'm not in the house. I had to go make a McDonald's run because I ain't got no groceries. You know, I had no food. But I just wanted to make this video to remind y'all to be careful who you f with. Because oh, not know. everybody you f with is going to f with you. Wow. Hey, not bleep, everybody bleep, you look out huh? for is going to look out for you. I see you got bleep it. Bleep Shit, you might show up for the wrong motherfucker right. at the wrong place bleep, at the wrong bleep. time and end up with the f***ing bleep, bleep. bugs. Wow. Bleep. And then oh, who's going to be there to look out for you? Nobody. So at the end of the day, it's true. I was outside because... Somebody asked him why he's outside. He said he was hungry. He went to McDonald's. So I saw this going viral. I remember seeing this and I was like, dang, people are really wild. Like, but I'm not surprised because people was going out with COVID and doing all that type of stuff. But to go to McDonald's and with full out monkey pocked, I was like, you wild, bro. Turns out he didn't have the monkey box. I never thought it was just real. Y'all, just to let y'all know, the person who took my payment was absolutely fine. And yeah, this was just a promo going wrong. I would have rebuilt this sooner, but I was just taking input left and right and didn't know what the hell to do. Just to give you a quick brief of what this was all about, I have unique and unconventional marketing methods when it comes to promoting my music. And I usually try to tie the marketing around the premise of the song. This time the song was called Choose Yourself, so I was trying to market it in a way where it displays a person choosing himself regardless of how other people feel about it. Unfortunately, it didn't translate that way, and people just end up getting mad at me. My followers did y'all just to let y'all know. Let me tell you, that is some trash excuse. So I did a video where I shot my mom. It was to promote a song that I wrote (laughs) called Sometimes It's Cold Outside. To correlate that when your mama don't give you a jacket when you go to school, sometimes it's cold outside. <laughs> Nigga, quit lying. 
<laughs> you wanted some follows. You wanted some likes. It had nothing to do. And it might be that you wanted people to download your music, but it was not a, oh, this would be a great way to correlate the song in a right. national epidemic that's hi hitting everybody right now. You a goddamn lie. You don't think he really meant to do that? What? You don't think he really, like, in his heart of hearts, he wasn't like, I'm about to promote my music in an unconventional way. I think he was like, how can I get attention? What has got everybody? I don't think it was, like, a creative, like, my song relates to monkeypox. Mm -hmm. And then when you have blisters all across your skin, sometimes you got to choose yourself and get supersized fries. <laughs> It's crazy. And, and, and soft serve ice cream. Like, nah, nigga, no, that's not what you were thinking. I mean, nah. to be fair, it worked, though. If, if it was. I don't think it worked. Because I didn't know he made music. Exactly. It doesn't matter. He, we just played the song on this podcast. Oh, was that the song underneath it? I'm guessing. I don't know. Trash, trash, bull, bull. <laughs> we didn't hear it. <laughs> we're never going to listen to the whole thing. I mean, he definitely got trash, numbers. Trash, trash, bull, bull. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what it is. But he didn't play the song in the thing that went really viral. That video was going more viral than his reveal. The crazy yes. thing is, Angel and Marcus and Josh. Marcus, you're Where's in my Marcus? thoughts still. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Uh, I went searching for this video on YouTube to make sure I had it to show. There's like 20, 30 different people who have fake monkeypox, fake monkeypox prank in public. They've got terrible um, lesions, fake lesions mm -hmm. uh, on their on their skin. And you know, I be marketing, I be, I be having all the tricks and slips and stuff, but I draw the line at faking illness. You never had to do that to promote your, uh, your class. You didn't have, you did a lot of keep your distance promos. Monkey pock, uh, in the shape of nine ninety nine or ninety nine ninety nine. You too can get like that. I remember when COVID was like, when it first came to school the first time when it first got here and was a new kid. <laughs> I remember this white dude doing the same video like at walking around Target, not Target, Walmart. He definitely wasn't a Target shopper. And he was like, yeah, I got COVID and ain't nobody gonna do nothing, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And obviously it turned out he didn't have COVID. People are just dumb. Do it. The songwriter said, do anything for clout. That's exactly what it said. Some people want attention and likes so much. They don't care if their hate likes hate views, hate watches. Uh, they just want it. Now I hate your music. <laughs> now, uh, yeah. I, I will hate every song you've ever made for this. If I ever see you and I'm like, oh, people are like, check out this song. I'll be like, that's fake monkey pox boy. He, he could do a song with Beyonce and I'll be the one who never hears it. With Beyonce? Yes. With Beyonce. Me too. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Beyonce. I listen to your other musical musical jams. Listen, it's just not, it's just really like, it's truly sad. I know we're in a place where everybody thinks they can get attention and, and they can't like mm -hmm. you can get the, uh, you can gather an audience. <clears throat> it's all about what you're willing to pay to get that audience. Yeah. And for some people, nothing, n there's nothing off limits. Jesus paid it all already. Amen. You ain't got to pay. I remember I said this before, but I, it's it's relevant again. I don't know if you guys are in this. You probably do. You guys have been on social media. Do you remember the wave of titties and butt women videos where on men Instagram? would on Instagram? When Instagram video was first popping off. Yes, and men would like start in on titties, People pull out, and then start the sketch or start on a butt and then pull out and the sketch had nothing to do with that. I literally have a friend that still does it. I was gonna say people still do it. I haven't seen it as much. Uh, you know Sam Jones. Sam, Sam Jones. I'll, I'll pull him up. He was an actor. This might still be, and he literally, he definitely black dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only Sam Jones I know is the Celtics player. Mm -mm. He went on to glory though. Oh, rest in peace, Sam Jones. Wow. He did. Not your friend, Sam Jones. I'm talking about Sam Jones. King. Sam Jones the third. Yeah. Yeah. From Boston, Massachusetts? No, this 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 dude. Yep, that's him. Yeah. He does butt? All videos? Of it. Maybe. All of it above videos. <laughs> None of it is black women. So is there? Mm -hmm. Is it the butt? Is the butt there? Is the butt there? Oh, because they paid for that thing. Is it BBL? Oh. These BBLs killing y'all. Have you this, heard that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the thighs don't match. Indescribable is funny. 
Yeah, they they all have the fake butts, and he's literally like, that. Like there's nothing happening but butts jiggling in the background. And there's nothing. There's nothing happening at all. You know what my what type of content I hate the most? What? Very obviously fake pranks. Oh. Mm-hmm. Quick aside, your dad joke prank on Marcus. Oh, it was so good. Marcus's face. <laughs> So the water bad. bottles were in the shoes. The the, the dad joke inside of me, I was like, I was like rock at the end of Rudy. <laughs> Cause I didn't get it. The funny thing about Mark, the difference between Marcus and me, his immediate thought is, I'm going to have to fix this ceiling and repaint this and this. And my first thought would be, I'm gonna have to hire someone. <laughs> My reaction would have been like, how much, how, when will the people come to fix it? Did you call the people? Did you, you call imagine the people? me at the, ce- the ceiling like, I'm going to turn this <laughs> screwdriver. I'll be like, we're all going to die now. What's so crazy, to pull off that prank, it actually took a lot. Like, I had to watch for his car to pull up to the driveway on the camera. I then had to watch and wait until he was putting the key in the door so I could flush the toilet because I knew he had to hear water running in order to believe Oh, it. really? Yeah. He is the type that he's not just looking for context clues. He's hearing them as well. Oh. So I had to be like, wait, I flushed the toilet so that the toilet was already flushed. So he's hearing water run so, so that he, when I say the water's running, he's like, I can hear it. His facial reaction let me know this wasn't like, and I know y'all wouldn't do like a fake plan prank unless it was like obviously a parody. Mm-hmm. But there are couples. Oh, I've watched them. Whose whole, the, the thing that drives me crazy, the phone is obviously. Yeah. Right? Th- it's like, <laughs> hey, Angel. He's holding the phone as he comes in with his own hand. <laughs> I doodled on myself. And don't shush the camera. Hey, Angel. All right. Like the camera going to talk. D- <laughs> I'd be so like, mad. I do. Like, he's on his way. He's coming. Camera, hush. I'd be like, who? what human being of age 33 does not see a phone propped up right next to you? To wh- and also, you guys have recorded hundreds of, of pranks. pranks. Yes. You are not now thinking, oh, this probably isn't real. Yeah. No. It took. I'll That's t- where we got banger, banger, bangers from. Uh, Cause yes, they be doing the worst pranks. I wonder if they're still doing that. Of course they are. They're What's making their, money. What's uh, name? What was Bangers, 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 Bangers. Literally, it worked. Cause Bree was like, I could put the phone on a tripod. I was like, no, he'll see the tripod. Just hold the phone. Cause she was there recording my content. So he's expecting to see her yeah. with a phone. Mm. When he saw that goddamn water in the shoe, I know he wanted to kick me on the floor. And oh. I was already laughing before he got up there. So I had to bury myself into the uh, towel so he wouldn't see me. But it was a good time. Prince family or DMV nation? Let's see. Yeah, let's see. it's like Prince family. Prince family. I wonder if they're doing bangers, bangers, bangers. They can't be. Yes. To this no, day, you think so? They day. saw ours and were like, what? They, they can't crazy. still be. They added more fire. My dad broke guns. up our wedding. We get in, they're still doing it. Yes, they're not going to stop. It's, it's your boy Damien now. What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy Damien now. Yeah. And we are back once again, guys. I heard another <laughs> danger now today. <laughs> they are still Did you going. Hear the karate turn. shop win? What? 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 No! Why would they stop? For why? <laughs> they are still going exactly. How, how many views that, that video get? This video has 350,000 views and oh, it was uploaded. Man, that check is probably so nice. A couple of days month. ago. Kevin, if you were making as much money as they are. No, I uh, couldn't, Angel. My nose would bleed in every video. And you would let <laughs> I'd it. I'd be like, what's up, guys? You would, you would let it as you walk onto your PJ. <laughs> Today, we're doing a <laughs> fake monkey pots prank. Half my leg got amputated in the fire of a helicopter. Babe, the blood squirt, squirt. <laughs> Melissa would be like, oh, Kevin, <laughs> banger. And then y'all would go on y'all's PJ and fly somewhere and then shoot a video in a different country. Dang, I probably would, though. <laughs> yes. They got nine million. Uh, Do you hear that? It took me 10 years to get to 100,000. Man. Had I, had, I not, had I not thought Marcus would have divorced me if we just did pranks, I would have oh, been doing man. pranks. They have an infected tattoo prank. That's all they do. Bree, my person that helps me with my content, there's been a couple of pranks she's wanted me to do on him, and I've been like, nope, nope. This was the one that I was like, this one's perfect. 
And this will be the last one. <laughs> you can't prank him again. No. Now he'll be, you got to wait like three years. And it's not even. The water's water. got to be falling through the roof for him to believe it now. Oh my God. They have a yes. wild and bobcat. I actually have to burn down the house and be like, ha ha ha. Got you. <laughs> this video is the wild bobcat attacks the Prince family. It has an angry bobcat with blood around his mouth. His child with a fake red bite mark. And yeah. a <laughs> Kevin. Well, it's not fake. Angry Bobcat. She might lose her big toe doctor update. Priyanka broke her toe in Jamaica and was rushed to the hospital. We got kicked off the cruise ship. This is the worst cruise ship we've taken. But also surprising our kids with a new house and a new Tesla. Do so, you understand? <laughs> Do you understand? But then the next video is our Tesla brake stopped working. Yeah. So guess what they're going to do? Buy a new Tesla? Oh, my God. Kevin. They they, they use the kids. The kids aren't even. The kids. The kids Nova are, got hurt. The amount of therapy the kids are going to need by the age of Dog. 14. Damn, they don't have the money. Not even the kids are free? No. This is a family oh, affair. You're, you're locked in. Hold on. This title is Ayla has a very high fever. Asterisk, asterisk. Send help. What are we going to do from home? For your baby who Get had a fever. <laughs> Send help. Who, who had, had a fever, fever a week ago. The day, day y'all shot this video. Yeah. Who we going to send? Who Listen. we going to call? See, you know what? It's just all about thinking that you as the viewer could call someone. It's You don't get it, Kevin. You want it's us obvious. to send help for, the, for your child who's fake sick? I'm going to tell him to do a master class so that you can buy it. So you oh. can see how they do this. He, he can't sell me on a master class, but if he could sell me on weight loss, I'd be in. But too bad Numa already has that space in my life. This episode is brought to you by Noom. I want to lose weight because I want to feel good about my body. All right? I don't have to get down to a certain poundage. 215, 225, 235. What's a number? What's a number? I just want to be able to put on a white crispy shirt under a suit and not have to tuck my stomach into the pants. <laughs> That's all. I don't want to have to get, you know, my stylist had to buy me a 4X shirt in Louis Vuitton because apparently that's their size extra large or 2X. It still hurt me to put that 4X on my body and it didn't even fit. That was too small. But with Noom, boy, oh boy, will I not have that problem soon? Oh, yeah, I won't. Matter of fact, me and Melissa are trying to get into shape for our 40th birthday, which is about eight months from now for me and about 10 month, months from now for her. So I've been eating right. This drink is usually a strawberry, strawberry acai refresher with lemonade. And now it's just ice, pango, tashin fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of those two. Definitely one of those. Uh, those are my what favorite. Is when I go. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's iced tea with no sugar, which is hard for me. Uh. <laughs> with their psychology first approach. <laughs> Noom empowers you to build more sustainable habits and behaviors. <laughs> to date, Noom has helped more than 3.6 million people lose weight. Every journey is different, so your daily lessons are personalized to you and your goals. Choose your level of support from five-minute daily check-ins to personal coaching. Progress is not a straight line, and off days are totally okay. Noom weight will help you get back on track. I went to Little Marcus's birthday party this weekend, and I had pizza and wings and a burger. Wow. And I didn't feel bad about it. But I just got right back to it on Monday. That's what's great about Noom. Stay focused on what's important to you with Noom's weight. Noom weights. Uh huh. Noom weight. <laughs> Noom's weights. Noom's weights. Noom weights. That's not right. Noom. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, okay. Stay focused on what's important to you with Noom weights psychology based approach. Sign up for your trial today at noom.com slash SK. SK. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash SK. SK. To sign up for your trial today. All right. Yeah, uh, the, quick aside. This wasn't in the docket, Angel. I'm just going to share oh, with you because it's, it's, it, it's very easily understood. Okay. Huh? And this wasn't That's the blacks. This was one black person. Mm. She was mad at Drew Barrymore 
because what did you do? Drew Barrymore went into the rain. Oh yeah, and frolicked. That. Yeah, you I see this? Uh, I saw her video. Drew you saw Drew Bar- which yeah. is just if y'all didn't see this is Drew Barrymore's video, and the title is called. Uh, oh, actually, it's just Drew Barrymore. Post. This is her frolicking in the rain. She looks she so sound, white. She sounds so. Do um, not miss the opportunity. She's That's, on that stuff. She's on. <laughs> she's high on life. Mm. Or some herbal treatment. Chance? So you saw that video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the opportunity. <laughs> Her voice is floating on privilege. Man. It's great. So they got some good drugs. I'm trying to. F- I used to love going out in the rain. I'm trying to find the one. And I used to use a grocery This bag. lady got oh, mad. Man. Black lady got mad. The TikTok is taken down now. Oh. Where is it? Find it, Kevin. I'm trying. It's all, once you get deleted by two, TikTok, it's all duets and people's thoughts. And I want to see her video. Here it is. You and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million, 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So... I guess my question would be, why, why, would, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter? What is she talking about? I'm really lost. Okay, come she's on, re- she's stretch <laughs> on strong on this bit. She's reaching her. She had a follow-up video, and what she was saying was. Basically, a couple months ago, black dudes were like, I'm frolicking, right? Black guys frolicking. They would like be running through fields being happy. She was saying that Drew was appropriating black men's huh? talk by frolicking. And I was like, okay, now see, the problem, the problem is it's 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 the gaslighting narcissist issue. If everything's gaslighting. And everyone's a narcissist, then nothing is. Yes. If if everything's cultural appropriation, like black folks don't own frolic. frolic. The reason the thing went well is because black people don't, don't be frolic. frolic. Yeah. Niggas don't frolic. Mm-hmm. When's the last time you heard Marcus use the word frolic? <laughs> When's the her, for last time you see Marcus squeal with glee? Ever. Never. When has Marcus ever did this? If he did, I would. Think something was wrong. He doesn't frolic. He doesn't. I know you don't frolic. Your feet don't like it. No, I can't frolic. <laughs> that little jump took everything in me. First of all, quick aside, I was shooting some hoops and I posted my on Instagram. I saw you. You did good, friend. P- people were like, "Why you ain't jumping?" Because I'm almost forty <laughs> and, and I'm not playing a game. Fasciitis. When people are just shooting around, they're not jumping to their highest extent. They're not, uh, Kevin. I'm sorry. I usually do this, but you the baddie today. People want to see a full outfit, please. Cause Kev, my friend ain't, ain't come Kev's to showing play. Out. What's them shoes, friend? These are Balenciaga. Balenciaga on ba- the feet. Mm. Balenciaga. No, they're not. Now, let me show you what these are. Custom insoles. Yeah, that's, that's very wealthy. That's the most expensive what's part the sh- of the outfit. What's the shirt, the Kevin? Shirt? In the jeans. Oh, no. Why you gotta ruin the moment? Express. Oh, oh okay. look, that's great. I can shop there. It, I didn't know they sold 2X. Oh, could you mind. expressly put it back on? And then what about the, the, the oh, I'm not going to ask about the pants because I, <laughs> if this is what happened when you ask about a shirt. <laughs> the pants are from Paige. Oh, yeah, I got Paige a lot of Paige jeans. Paige made good pants for people with big legs. Yes, I got a lot of Paige jeans. They got the stretch in the thigh. Mm-hmm. You said he ruined the moment. You did. I told Melissa, I got to bring it. Y'all, for the whole life of this podcast, Three of the four co-hosts of the Ball and Beautiful got dressed. 
and I would have sweats on and mm-hmm. barely my shoes. Oh, because you were trying to get comfortable to go to sleep. I was. <laughs> He's like, if I wear jeans, it's harder to fall asleep. You look very nice. Back to the point. The black woman's lost her goddamn mind. Yeah. I- I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. The, the, Drew Barrymore is just out here being rich and running in the rain. Okay, Dog. she's not thinking about black. Well, she might be thinking about black men frolicking because a lot of women, white women are. But she's not thinking about it as I'm going to make. First of all, Drew don't need to go viral. Drew don't need the TikTok likes, the TikTok <laughs> views. No, she owed money. Don't she? Oh, she's getting res- money. She's getting and residuals, she, right? Absolutely. Don't now, she currently have a daytime uh, show? Drew got whatever the hell she want. Because she's Drew Barrymore, okay? <laughs> she does have a Drew Barrymore show. Wasn't she in E.T.? I don't know. Drew has been Stand here by. for forever. She's been here since like a Mars age, okay? She was in E.T. So Drew is like, Drew don't need to do things for clout. And nor no. has she ever been one to do stuff for clout. So it's the wrong, Charlie's you're barking Angels. up the wrong tree. She did Charlie's Angels? Yes, she That's, was definitely. Very more likely that was her ne- bag. never, yes. so, what'd she get for Charlie's Angels? I'm sure a lot. She was like Call the Tony Baker. It, uh, no, Ask no. It was Lucy no, he won't Lou, answer. Drew Barrymore, and then. And Cameron Diaz. Thank you. I was about to say it's Cameron Spinny D White and girl. Destiny. Charlie's Angels, Angels come, come on. on. Um, Shut up, <laughs> I don't think Drew Barrymore spent her time on TikTok. And I'm not, you know, I don't be defending no white folk hardly ever. But I don't think that woman saw, spent a, a couple months on TikTok and was like, black men been frolicking? It's time. Soon as it rains. It do not be raining here either. I don't know where she was. She probably wasn't right, even here. Seattle or something. Yeah, it hasn't oh, rained in LA in at least six months. Uh, But I don't think she... I don't think she was accused of that. Wait, she got producer credit on Charlie's Angels. Yeah, she was the biggest star. She had the rights to it before they. She filmed was bigger it. than Cameron. Absolutely, bro. She got forty M's, forty million, for forty dollars, and a possible eighty for the set. Eighty. I can't believe Drew it. Drew Barrymore got what for who? She was the producer on there. Yeah, Drew, I didn't know. Yeah, Drew was the biggest star. Really? Yeah. Drew been about that life for a minute. I did not know that Drew Barrymore got $40 million. Drew greenlights her own stuff. While I still would not call her when we were having, you remember we were having the discussion about female movie stars? Mm-hmm. While I still would not consider Drew a movie star when we think of like a Will Smith or a Leonardo DiCaprio. Who did we decide that was... We said that Julia Roberts at one point in time was a movie star, Sandra Bullock at one point in time, and so was Melissa McCarthy. Those and were, Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, Jennifer Lopez had a, 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 a time where she was an actual movie star. Think about Cameron Diaz. While I possibly wouldn't even put her up there, she has enough clout in the business world that she can put the team around her to make yeah. a movie go. Yeah, Meg Ryan. And by movie star, we mean if if that person alone is on the poster, it, it's going to sell. It's going to sell well. I wouldn't say Meryl Streep. Street, yeah, the movie is not going to make be a blockbuster Yeah, hit. we said $100 million. Yeah, We it, think if you put that person on the, like you put Will Smith, Denzel Washington on the poster, Leonardo DiCaprio, you have a chance to make $100 million if it's just them. Yeah. I think we might have said Angelina had like a, a she, small time. Uh, what did she have? And, well, and no, not no, no. like a vehicle. Yeah, not we said like it a couldn't vehicle. be a vehicle. They like, couldn't be like in a Marvel thing, and that's the reason why. Like uh, Angelina Jolie, her big movies were she was a part of something that already existed. Like Tomb Raider? Yeah, Tomb Raider was already uh, huge. Jennifer Lawrence? No, we, I don't think she can open a movie by herself. That's yeah. why. That's <laughs> why she got that. It's them three fingers and the whistle. <laughs> The three fingers and a whistle is what That's made That's uh, Hungry Game. Hung- hungry Hung- Game. Yep. <laughs> That's- Noom.com. Hunger, ga- hunger <laughs> Game. But that was a huge book already. Yeah. Yeah. It's Nicole it's- Kidman? No. No. Mm-mm. It's not going to. No it's not going to. She going to make some money, but it ain't what we're talking about. No. Nah, we talking about. Not honestly, Ange- the movie industry not is going not going to make. No. Nah. No shot. But her and Brad Smith. What Brad, is going on with, with me you? today? It's from you working out. Your Brad, brain is like, wait Brad, a second. Brad Pitt. Uh, yeah, we said oh, yeah, Tom Cruise, Mr. Absolutely. Mrs. Smith don't don't happen. 
It ain't gonna Without be made if it's just Miss Smith. Yeah, yeah. It could be made if it was just Mr. Smith though. Absolutely, one hundred percent. If Brad Pitt was alone, Brad with Smith. <laughs> That's Viola why Viola Davis said. ain't about to make no Viola 100. Davis. Yeah, don't even think you, you about to put a black woman on this list. <laughs> they, they not have giving. y'all not been here? <laughs> <laughs> have y'all not been here? Dog, they not letting no black people. A black woman can't mean? even make a podcast a hit by herself. <laughs> Much less a block a blockbuster movie? Come on now. Come on. <laughs> that is not how the world works for us. Julia Roberts <laughs> potentially Back in the day, she had a run right after Pretty Woman. Mm -hmm. Aaron Brockovich, she opened by herself. No, I said Julia Roberts had a time. Yeah. Her and Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Definitively. Because uh, Sandra Bullock did her thing in, in Speed. I think she was the bigger star of the two at the time, right? Yeah, she did Miss Congeniality 1 and 2. She had Speed. She had... Um, Proposal. Yeah, she she definitely, in her own right. She just did a boring movie on Netflix. Yeah, but... um. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we say all that to say that Drew Barrymore is not out here <laughs> thinking about no. frog. the blacks. She really isn't. She, and that's the thing. Like, we got a lot to be mad at. We shouldn't be picking the things that ain't obvious. There's plenty of people who are stealing f from black people openly. Yeah. Right up front, all that stuff. Drew Barrymore is literally in the rain with her glasses on just being free. Everybody always says she had a bad childhood. What what happened to her childhood? She was on drugs. I told you this. Last like really was on drugs. Yeah. I know she yeah. was she's been, been sober now. Like she was on that. She was on drugs as a child. From ET, not from a the teenager, e a child. Like under ten. Like she was young, young. Yeah, I don't even. She might have been double digits. Who was giving her drugs? Adults. She went to rehab at twelve. Somebody said. Yeah, no, she was it. literally. Um, so because this is the thing. You pulled your kids out of the industry early. Yes. But had you been able to really sit and see how, one, because kids are on set having to behave like adults. They're having to behave like professionals. Yeah. They expect you to hit your mark. They don't expect to have your parent come translate what the director said. The director is... Talking to you like a regular actor. Exactly. So there is this whole, like culture where then the adults that are around the children begin to also treat them like yeah. adults. Yeah. You want something to drink? You have something to drink? It's fine. Yeah. You want to bubble this? And you got all these dysfunctional people treating these kids crazy. And um, that's why they end up needing therapy and having to go to talk space. That's right. Because that's right, Angel. You, when you go through all that type of mess, your life is just crumbling. It's mm. falling apart. And you might not have Drew Barrymore money. You might not have all that, but that's all right. <laughs> Using Talkspace feels a little like having a mental health professional in your pocket. Talkspace offers both therapy and psychiatry. And being able to reach out to your provider at any time, anywhere, makes taking care of your mental health super easy. Uh, it makes you more, it can help make you more relaxed when you're traveling. Um, especially knowing that if you need to talk to your therapist, you can just send a message whenever or wherever you are. Working things, working through things at therapy can be tough, but connecting with your therapist isn't. I y'all know I didn't talk about my therapist. You sure time. have. Listen, I got a session today. All right, excited for it. You know why? Because. Sometimes stuff be just so hard to do by yourself. Sometimes hard to see the, the full picture when you're inside of it and having somebody who can come, you could talk to that is able to try to get a bird's eye view to be able to show you the way to walk through this thing. It's just, it's so invaluable. Like you, you just have no idea what you're missing. And that's why we here at Here's the Thing believe firmly in therapy. Talkspace lets you send messages to your dedicated therapist in the Talkspace pla platform, which allows you to update them on the challenges and triumphs you're facing in real time so you don't have to wait for your next session. With Talkspace, you set goals with your therapist and they hold you accountable and make sure you're really progressing. Therapy can help shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. Finding good tools, okay, because a lot of times we be coping with negative things. Therapists are able to help you be like, okay, you're going through this. These are some things. These are some tools you can use. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists with years of experience in over 40 specialties, including depression, anxiety, substance abuse, trauma, anger management, relationship issues, food and eating, and so much more. 
And it's secure. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest <clears> end-to-end <throat> bank-grade encryption technology to store client information complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. As listeners of this podcast, you get $100 off your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure you use the code CREW with a K. CREW with a K. To get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's CREW with a K. CREW with a K. And Talkspace.com. Calm. Uh, ¿Cómo estás, Kevin? Bien, y tú esto eres el es muy bueno para tu mí. Come on with that babble, okay? Because listen, we still out here traveling, all right? The world has opened up. We are going out of the country. We are experiencing new cultures, new languages. And sometimes when you go out of Go out of the country. You want to speak of the language of the people, okay? And you ain't got all day, all right? Because you got a job. That's why Babel is here. Pot of tea, okay? For all your summer travels, whether you're going abroad or staying domestic and you want to immerse yourself in the culture, now's the perfect time to start Babel. Babel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babel's addictively fun and bite-sized, easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. Destination! Spanish has been my jam, but I'm thinking about adding a little bit of French because y'all know I found out I was from, uh, my people are from Sierra Leone. Granted, French oh. is not their like native language. However, we gonna learn that French because it's a connection to it. Amen. Amen. With Babbel, you only need ten minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real life conversations in a new language as in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel was created by over one hundred and fifty language experts. Their teaching methods has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from fourteen different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can ex- access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash SK. SK! That's babbel.com slash SK. SK. For up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel language for life. Language. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this wasn't in the docket either. God I've been, I'm a bit busy, but you have a you have a thought on this quickly. Chris Rock was asked to return to hosting the Oscars next Bad. year. No. Okay. Oh wow. I'm just giving a, okay. That's good. Okay. He turned it down. Uh-huh. I can understand. Saying Going back to the award ceremony would be like asking Nicole Brown Simpson to go back to the restaurant where she left her eye ga- eyeglasses before being killed. Oh, my God. Okay, well, he spoke on how he felt. He's now back under fire oh from the Oh, my Oscar God. For, for He's like, this. what? It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> right? Huh? Are you familiar with the term milkshake duck? With this Chris Rock no, ain't really I only know milkshake duck. brings all the boys to the yard. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Milkshake Damn duck right. is is an internet term. This doesn't actually apply, but it's like if everybody finds out. Perfect example. I don't know if you guys saw this during the Super Bowl parade. This lady fell off the stage, and Matt Stafford was like, and he turned around and walked away. And everybody was like, Matt Stafford, you suck. Why could you do this? Everybody loved this lady, wanted to send her money and all that stuff. People found out who this lady was. And it turned out she was like super racist, had all these crazy tweets and stuff, and now everybody hated her. Within six hours, Jesus. The term milkshake duck, I don't know where it comes from, but it basically means when everybody on the internet loves you until they find out about something from you, and then they immediately turn their backs on you. Chris Rock had at least half of the people were like, You the man. Will Smith should have never. Uh, the other half were like, You shouldn't have made them jokes about that black woman. That's why your face is stinging. Whoever was on his side now, the majority of people who are on his side that are not stand-up comedians are now like, now why would Christopher, now, now why would you go and say that? He's like, I'm going to fire one off. <laughs> you think I wouldn't? All right. I'm going to fire one off. And it might be a knee slapper. <laughs> Instead of a face one. Man, it's just like, all you had to be like, he he made another joke. He, he said, you know, that Nevada... Uh, 
the state gaming commission wouldn't sanction a fight between him and Will Smith. So I don't want to go there again. That's funny mm -hmm. because their size difference, they couldn't box each other because of the weight class mm -hmm. difference. Why you, why you said Nicole Kidman? She, she gone on to meet him. It's Nicole Kidman. Nicole Brown. I was like, when did she like, die? Nicole Kidman ain't gone on to meet she him. She has I not met him yet. By the way, Nicole Kidman, single me out. When I go to watch a movie at the AMC theaters, stop telling me to go out to the theaters. I'm, I'm already in here. Is that her talking? Yes. Oh. Rodimus Prime made that tweet a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, every time I see that, I'm like, girl, you need this ad needs to be somewhere else. I am here already. Why are you telling me to come go to the movies? I'm at the movies. I am here. I'm Nicole. literally sitting down at the movies. Why are you telling me to go? She's talking to the people who recorded the video and now they're watching their mama's watching the video. Man. <laughs> In the house, she's the like shaky you. Footage. Yeah, she's like, go to the movies. That I was know a you're good watching. time in our life. When oh man, I had everything. Man. The, I crazy, the crazy, the crazy ones were having it before it came out. I Who recorded it. I wasn't watching bootleg movies. You weren't. Oh, Angel, you never watched a bootleg. I was getting tacos and Men in Black too in the same in the uh. same run. <laughs> On my life, that, the, my boy's still there. Absolutely. Now, while I would steal music, I would never do what that. What was the me. difference? I am an actor, and I was like... Oh, so because it's your craft, you got no problem. You you yes. can steal something that ain't your craft. You know yes. what? That, I would lime wire the, and Napster the <laughs> hell out of some songs. But when it comes to a movie, I shall not <laughs> watch this little well, $5 as, DVD. As a, as a member of the SAG union, right? Exactly. Not doing it. <laughs> I watched a lot. I didn't. I surely didn't. One of my favorite pastimes is, is getting a bootleg and be like, oh, this is a good one. Right. Like, that was the best part. Some more pristine quality. Like, oh, this is. Ain't nobody walking. You, had to roll you can the dice every time you put in that, that VHS or that oh, DVD. Oh, man. This was a good time. This is pristine. Now you have Cody and computer programs where they just. You're just watching the movie like this. This ain't old school. Somebody would sneak it in and like of, it says property of Paramount. Yeah, you are watching like somebody stole that off the hard you're drive. Like, and then when you actually see it for real, you're like, oh, I remember this part. That's I saw a different, different <laughs> Y'all don't know. I ain't been through nothing. Kids who's watching bootlegs now. Y'all ain't struggled. Let me tell you, we had some friends that got a hold of what the one of the I think uh, Wolverine movies is either Wolverine or one of the Marvel movies. And it was bootleg to the point they got it early. So meaning they hadn't edited out the strings yet. <laughs> there are pieces of the they background. Got an unfinished copy? Yes. Like it, everything was they in, but all the like binding. all the technical CGI uh stuff. So yeah, they're seeing strings. <laughs> they got Iron Man with the CGI dots on his yes, face. Yes. <laughs> yes. I said, why would you watch that? Why? Let me tell you what. They say this in the comments and it's so true. Tyler Perry. Oh, yeah. He did a billion in bootleg black communities. Uh, yeah. All his plays. He didn't touch it, though. He All of them were No, nah, he would have done it. He did a billion under the table. He was supporting table. black owned business. Dog. His, all those phrases from them early Medea plays, Kevin, oh, that one I hate. My mother-in-law, whom I love, she saw that Medea play. That and Kevin, she thought that was the funniest joke ever on earth for like nine years now that's probably one of the things that i saw bootleg not because i went and purchased oh. it no 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 let me tell you why wow. going over a church person's house and it'd be and you'd be like how is the play you know what i watched this a uh, tyler Perry bootleg at my pastor's house it didn't even cross yes, my mind that this is stolen like that. they'll be like this is so good and i'm like did he sell this or but then you because he tell. wasn't selling them oh. yeah you could tell by the laugh that's all loud in the mic Man, you right. Yeah. Them was church folks still in that man stuff. People. I but never But he made his one. money back later. Oh, heck oh, yeah. yeah. He in made that fold. money 10 he he because is he a billionaire he, or close to it? He's probably close, but I don't think he is. But because the once beat. these people who watched the bootleg saw it, they were determined to see the live show. So it worked in his favor. It worked in his favor. He was yeah. message board. Oh, he's worth a billy, Angel. He, he is? As of probably September for, 2020. I was gonna say probably from the BET wow, thing. Wow, congrats! Yeah, BET yeah. literally they gave him like six hundred. They gave him a. You they know, were like, "Here's a bag, make really seven thousand yeah. television programs." You know, for us. he made a lick based off the fact that I went to go see Medea's last Medea's family funeral on the one the stage the play on that Netflix? was supposed to be no 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 the, the stage, one that was on BET Plus. Did they put the stage play on BET yeah. Plus? Okay, well I saw it live. Okay, it was supposed to be Medea's last play. At that play. 
he was announcing that he was about to start his own app. I heard about this. And so I was like, oh, oh my God, he's about to have, I was pregnant with Amar very early in the pregnancy. And um, I was like, wow. And then the app never materialized, but all of a sudden all these shows showed up on BET Plus. Yeah. I said, oh, they must have threw him so much money that he was like, it's, I don't need to have Why? my name. Why would I use my money? Yeah. I think they gave him like, I heard would you, six six hundred million. I'm guessing. I was trying to lowball it because I feel like it was. I think it was six seven hundred. I thought the fact that he stopped making his own. He obviously can make the shows. Yeah. Well, because he's only been focusing on that for the past two years. Yes. And and the shows are super duper. Except for the Netflix Super one. duper successful. The fact yes. that Sisters has a spinoff already with um, uh, Deval and Zatim- Zatima. Zatima. First of all, I ain't gonna hold you. The trailer for that show looks great. I was like, hold on. I would tune in. Also, Deval is my guy. But even if he wasn't, I didn't watch Sisters. I don't watch that much TV. Don't get me wrong. And when I I do watch TV, I'd be watching the same old episodes of The Office for comfort. But the Zatima trailer, I said. Whoever they have as DP for this show. Yes. That's what it really is. It looks pristine. The lighting makes sense because that's a lot of times the thing that makes me fall out of watching Tyler Perry stuff. Uh, The stuff that's on television, the lighting is not making sense for the genre to me. And so it pulls me out of it. But the trailer for Zatima, I was like, this matches. I don't know it who looks they good. hired, but this looks really good. Also, DeVal and Kadeen are some beautiful African-Americans. Oh, yeah, well, that's what we talked about before. I know. I'd be, look, look, I'd be like, like, man. Uh, she I want- just did a workout video where she was like, I fell off the horse this summer. Well, honey, the horse didn't kick me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> The horse then stomped me into the ground because if that's what you look like falling off the horse, <laughs> girl, <laughs> I'm talking about donkey kicks me with both of its hind feet <laughs> and then river danced on By me. By the way, I just want to take a quick aside. We all over the place today. It's all right. Me and Angel did this sketch to promote Churchy and we, I just started rolling him out. I forgot how funny Angel is. <laughs> I watch my, you, you can see the editor cut away from me. People are like, how'd you keep a straight face, Kev? I, what makes you think I didn't laugh through that? <laughs> There's no way we had to shoot that. We, I think in that sketch, we had to just go and shoot my reactions without Angel talking. No, 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 no. When we did it the second, like the second time you were like, now I know what you're doing. Oh, you- well, this nigga said, oh, man, pat, 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 <laughs> zine, grace, pat, 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 pat. I was yeah. like, you this you can't do that to I, the lord you can you, can, and you I did it. your mind i want to know what's up there because there's a the wires are plugged in bad you say that i'm bad angel oh, somebody was, the, the thing that say thought don't say <laughs> that you, in your mind is plugged thought do say this <laughs> is the problem you say that my brain is close to my mouth because i don't have a filter well, if your brain is where it's supposed to be, you're even worse because you have thought through and it's like, yeah, I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so you're way worse. <laughs> it's just a good time. It's just a good time. You know, I like to make the people laugh have a good time. She does. So here's a funny thing that was sent by Pat Cat, I believe. Payless Shoes going viral for creating a fake luxury store. This is old. And selling cheap shoes for $650. Payless Shoes. Instagram is telling everybody oh, to God, make I hate real. when Instagram does that. It's like you click on video and then it makes you watch somebody else's video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Payless Shoes. They held a grand opening of a luxury store with a different name but the same shoes and charged hundreds more for those same shoes. Customers paid. Old Palessi. We built a fake luxury store in Los Angeles and filled it with Payless Shoes. The guests at our grand opening party had no idea. Guests invited to check out what looked like a luxury shoe shop. They're elegant, sophisticated. I just think it's so classy. And I can tell it was made with high quality material. A $35 shoe going for $645, an 1800% markup. Store owners sat on their heels as fashion influencers emptied their wallets. Huh. I would pay 400 500 yeah. People are going to be like, <gasps> Where'd you get those? Those are amazing. Then they're let in on the prank. These are actually from Payless. What? Payless shoes. They held a grand opening of a luxury. So this is like five years ago, but I never saw this. And neither did I. I never saw this. Payless been on to glory. Yeah. Hey man, they uh, were they were a the, staple the, in my family. Talk boy. And I wouldn't have an Easter shoe if it wasn't for Payless. God, I talk about 
still in my life at 39 years old. I have been in Payless shoe store more than any oh. other shoes. I, I hated the smell of Payless. Mm -hmm. I remember when my mom, you remember the Scotty Pippen Airs had the big writing, A-I-R. That's say yes. You've seen these shoes, Angel. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. <laughs> They're the up tempos. Yeah. Okay. With the Payless sale. I'm going to show you. There instead of air. <laughs> Hold on, Angel. You've seen these. Mm -hmm. These shoes. Right? Mm -hmm. I wanted that <laughs> shoe so bad. Yeah. I asked my mom. They're like a hundred something dollars. My mom looked at me like I asked her to smack the pastor. Yeah, that's what you did. Hakeem Olajuwon had a type of shoe like that where it just said 34 in big writing. My mom was like, you can get those. And I was like, do you want to see me beat up? Yes. I don't... I'd rather just get nothing. Just give me something that won't. I got some shoes that just was black. Just nothing. Yeah. You wouldn't notice them. You wouldn't pay. They the weren't enough to make fun black of. shoe on it. We used to call, <laughs> we used to call them Bobos. That 34 from Hakeem Olajuwon, I was like, man, everybody going to know that don't say air. Listen, this is why I wore church clothes to school for a very long time because you can get away with cheap sandals. You do. You wore what? This is like church clothes, like skirts, dresses to school. You went, wore dresses to school? You saw her photos? I thought that was for picture day. I know. I, I, I wore skirts. I wore dresses because I could get away with pay less sandals. It's hard to get away with pay less tennis shoes. It's hard to do oh, that. Oh, man. So, they know those from a mile away. Exactly. So if I dress in a way where I can wear sandals, <laughs> I ain't got to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. I'm sad because Amar doesn't get to experience pay less. But I know most people who got married in the early 2000s or before, that's where they got their bridesmaid shoes because they would dye the satin shoes any color you wanted. Really? Yes, for free. Oh, wow. Payless was, like was dying shoes? Yeah, they, they had it going like Nike ID. Yeah. <laughs> you get any style. You take, you uh, choose from the swatch, and you'd be like, dyed that color in all your bridesmaids. And how many words would you get out of them? Uh, you know, as many as you want. You know, listen, Payless made some sturdy shoes. I don't well, care what nobody said. That's the whole point of this. I was talking about how many words would you get on before the dye went. The dye stayed on good? Yeah, the dye. Oh, yeah, no, no. They did a good job dying. Let me tell you what. The reason that prank was funny is because shoes are shoes. Yeah. They're in uh, Korea making them shoes. For two, my dad was stationed in Korea for a little while, and it, it really ruined any chance I had of getting Nikes. He saw how much the Nikes cost there. Like, they would sell them. They would make extra and sell them to the soldiers before they would ship them to Nike. Mm -hmm. He said them shoes would be like $2, $5. Yeah. He's like, now they get to America, they're $160. I ain't going to get them to because they only worth two. And I'm like, Dad, they are worth what you can sell them for. And in my community of people, the, the Jordans, and we ain't nothing but animals. Peacocks, th them feathers, that that's these Jordans. That's just off-white. Animals me, be doing that same thing. My best friend in second grade had, her mother was in the military. Hold and on, so, time. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt you. Somebody asked this question, just boggled my mind. They said, why didn't your dad get you the ones that were $2? Because this is what I'm about to tell you. Oh, but. They look a little different. Oh, do they? My, my best friend's mama was in the military. She sent us some felines. From wherever the heck she was stationed. And when I tell you people talked about me, they said, they ain't no real feet lies. Those are lies is all they are. And I was like, no, they're the authentic ones that came right from the people who made them. They were like, they lied to you. You are cracking me up because you say feline. We had a whole discussion about that. Yeah. It is an A at the end of that. It's, it's Asian. It's fila. It's fila. And she said fila. Mel says fila. Melissa says fila. Fila. It's felines. It's fila. I'm telling you, I got the authentic one. Oh, ones. you got felines. No, I it, did. It, it have an A on yours. It had an A, and that's what the people said who made it. They said, "Here are your felines." Uh huh. Black I didn't talk to them, but that's what they said. Black folks said don't want to pronounce nothing right. See, they said Angel is correct. It's felines. This is this is only this one is a. pronounced. This is pronounced. Is it, who who? It's gonna be some white person. Yeah. Fila. Yeah, Hold I don't on. trust that white hoe. She probably out in the rain with Drew Barrymore. Talking about coming out in the rain. Coming out. 
out. But you know who I do trust? Rap Radar. That's right. And they're finally back and they're bigger than ever. Famed journalist Elliot, Elliot Wilson. That's his name. Mm-hmm. Elliot Wilson Love and Elliot. Ryan B. Dot Miller are bringing you the definitive conversations on music <laughs> and culture with the biggest names in hip hop. <laughs> now at its new home, Interval Presents. That's the new home. Interval Presents. Yes, it is. For the first time, Rap Radar is available on every platform. So listen now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Shout out to Elliot, man. He shared some of my photos. Did Elliot Wilson? Mm-hmm. He he's a, a he's what they call a taste maker. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the term that predated influencer or yeah. socialite. A socialite. So- socialite. Oh. Socialite. Oh. I thought you were talking about the uh, social socialite. Okay, I'm gonna let you uh, I hear think... how it's actually pronounced. Hold on. It's feel It's feel You see how the woman said it? How did you find that? <laughs> I'm like, see that black woman said feel Oh my gosh! All right, this was in the news last week, and I couldn't believe it. It now costs more than three hundred thousand dollars to raise a child. Or more than eighteen thousand a year for expenses like food, housing, haircuts, and sports. Angel, you you gonna you gonna spend one point two million? Yeah. Raising them four boys. Why do you think? Mm-hmm. Why do you Come think she's on, always Matthew. working? I, listen, I knew children were expensive. This is why the t- child uh, support debate always frustrated me. Men were complaining about three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, whatever the price was. Like, that's too much. For child support? For child support. My whole life, my whole check, everything for the majority of my life was for their support. Mm -hmm. Food, house, clothes, milk. You know how frustrating I was when we had our first kid, Isaiah, when he wouldn't finish all the milk? I would be like, do you do you know how much that that aisle is? And he would just be like, oh. Falling asleep? But then if you put, usually he go eight ounces, mm. right? And then he'll drink it down to four. But if you go four, he now he won eight. Then you put four more, he'll leave two. I'd be like. So six is what you should just give him. But if you give him six, he'll go three or one eight. <laughs> he never like, would drink. The, it was always too little or too much. Mm-hmm. And I remember, man, some boy, when we used to go grocery shopping and we would have to turn down the aisle where the kid's stuff was on, I used to be like, man, this is. These are things are a lot. Mm-hmm. Remember one time I spilled a, a thing of formula, a tear formed. Yes, it should. Formula that, is expensive. Formula was forty. It was a shortage. It was a big short on formula crazy. like last month. Their yes, shoes, their clothes when they grow fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, field trips. We put JoJo in soccer when he was like four. He never played a game. No, oh my God. You would put him Y'all in. This is what he would money do. To waste. Y'all no, we didn't. Y'all put that boy in soccer. Y'all were not broke. We were angel. We put, we put little Marcus in the backyard. That's when we didn't have money. You back air with the dogs. Come up Somebody with a game. Somebody said private online school is twenty three hundred. Online, private online school. Let me tell you, private in in school is way more than that. Absolutely. Jesus. I'm excited because that means God gonna give me money. I always say, if you gonna give me this child, you gonna give me the money for us to do what we gotta do. That's true. You, he gave you the child. I thought you did this stuff for it. But I couldn't make the child by myself. I didn't go in there and take That's the true. sperm and throw it inside the egg. <laughs> Jesus did that. He did all that. He did the, He made my womb do what it do. You, you go ahead. Four I'm sorry. times. No, it's, four times. So I, I already know he about to have. You had two out. kids in one day. I surely did. Busted. Busted. Listen. Um. Uh. What's his name? Sai lost some teeth. Right. In Kai's head because they are forty minutes apart. He was waiting. And he was like, 40 minutes from now, the tooth should ah, fall out. When them ah, teeth, when his teeth did not start falling out, he was <laughs> perplexed. Like, then how does this work? How does this work? <laughs> what is the point of being twins if this stuff ain't going to correlate? That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. He was so confused by it. But, um, yeah, but actually, raising my children when they were babies was inexpensive because I didn't have them in daycare. They were with me for most of the time. Man. I was cloth diapering and I was breastfeeding. I can't believe you did that. You were washing the doo with the other clothes. Cloth diapering is like in the uh, toilet. You, we had a sprayer connected to our toilet. You spray the dookie down the toilet, and then you just wash it. That 
I didn't know you are the only person I've ever met that's done that. Yeah, I was like, oh, we got spin out. I bet you we don't. Did you have Pampers when you like would be out in the day? Yeah, I would have like people for little Marcus. He was probably 80 percent cloth diapered. Uh, the twins were more like <laughs> 70 percent. Oh. And then Amar Marcus was like, if we have this fourth child, you better not pull out not that cloth diaper. Where so, do you buy cloth diapers from? You can get a subscription. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do a subscription. There are companies uh, when uh, Babies R Us existed, you could buy them at Babies R Us. There's actually R-Us companies that will clean them for you too, right? Mm-hmm. That'll come. You just set the, the things out in a bucket outside. They'll yeah, come get like them the bring old, you clean ones. It's like the old milk jars. Mm-hmm. They also had like cloth diapers that were like, you could throw them away. Those just are not cloth. regular diapers. <laughs> they were just regular diapers. Yeah, no, no. So wait, how many diaper, how many wears would you get out of cloth diaper? What do you mean? I never. They never went bad. So we, you bought. You, you didn't have one. No, I bought. Uh, how many did I buy? I probably bought like twenty four per child or thirty six, something like that. And they go up in size just like clothes. Uh, they uh, are expandable. So like their buttons closer in, so that's when they're small. Then buttons that come out. Then buttons that come out. They got adult sizes. Listen, they call draws. So you well, just take shit we right on in. Clock. <laughs> we gonna go right back. Mm. Dang, I I didn't know. So, am I privileged because I had regular diapers? Uh, well, cloth diapers are actually to start are very expensive, so that's why it's just you make your money back during the amortization. Yeah, come over on. the long haul. Over the long haul, you make your money back. Everybody asking how much how I know so much about cloth I diapers. Agree. How do you know my, so much uh, about oh, cloth diapers? Like one of my family friends, who's basically like one of my older sisters. She's a doula, so she'd be telling me, "Oh, doula. Mm-hmm. Mm, I wanted a doula." We couldn't afford one of those. I said, I'll figure it out. That's also, I hadn't heard of a doula until Erica Badu said she wanted to become one. Well, when you and Melissa have this baby by surrogacy. Stop putting that on us. I rebuke this. When? I'm I'm not doing that. I can drop my kids off at home and then go to I Santa you, Monica. I bet you get in Madison Square Garden because you have two hours of content. Oh, really wow. Quickly. Two hours of material. I'm almost 40. I've been thinking about the day when Isaiah graduates high school. Deals, I'll be now you would get as a parent? Oh, oh my God. They do and be giving brand deals like crazy for parents. Yes. Parent, they, but that's not enough. Come on. They just told you they cost $300,000. You got it, nigga. So? You got <laughs> This would be a soft life baby, though. I would have all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's what oh I'm God. expecting. Uh, night would, nurse. Yeah. I'm night not nurse doing and day nurse. You I'm going to yeah. do this with my, my new son. Hello. Yeah. Take him. <laughs> they have <a> take him. <laughs> Melissa would want another girl. I want, want a girl. She ain't, got, she ain't want, got none. She would want a girl, and I want another boy. More balls in the house. <laughs> Give a little girl. No, Look we have Monty. Talk, we hold Monty like this. About it. So that she could wear Prada Mm-mm. with the oh, baby. Oh, wow. That, if it was a oh, man, that girl would be so old. Mel, we, we get to hold Mel's baby all the time. Her yeah. baby's great. She is. I love her to death. She's a little old love, black woman. I would love to see you all as new parents again. That would break Give my him. Heart. Get Josh the baby. Oh, he doesn't even have none. I'm going to get his Mexican baby when it show up. Get you a little uh, horchata y c- cacao. And I said, I'm going to make sure that baby good and fat. Oh, yeah. None, you Your baby can spend the night. I don't want to see that baby's neck until he's two. That's how big I want that baby to be. That'd be so dirty. Chanchito. Oh, I get, I'll stink. get in there. I'll take my nail and get all of them oh. there. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> I'm talking about a fat little Mexican baby. I'm going to get on that babble for real, too. I'm going to be talking to that baby. <laughs> in his Spanish. native tongue? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> don't be talking. Imagine Josh's pictures of his baby. Oh, oh man. That baby going to be like. Girl that he whipped pregnant, that's gonna be a cute little baby. That baby gonna come out with a beard. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's gonna come out with a beard. That baby gonna come out looking so Josh suave. is celibate, man. He told me he sell a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> he got one customer though. That's it. <laughs> Pressure young people. Him, victory. Y'all chill. are young. I am 39. Yes. I had a baby at 39, Kevin. Oh, wow, she did. That's a I don't know why you did that. Because it's fun. Come on. Mm-mm. The way Mar looked at me at Marcus's party, he I was, said, hi, Mar. He was like. 
He was like, you just kept trying. He was like, I've made it known to you that I'm not going to speak to you. He never, he made me feel bad about myself. He was just like. You come over by yourself, he'll talk to you. But with all them people, he's like, you see, I'm here with my grandma. Stop. No, your grandma was holding him, or his grandma was holding him. Mm. He was like, man, shut up, Kevin. I was like, you can't call me that. (laughs) He said, but I did, though. Monty told me I could. Had that baby. No, I'd rather have another dog. But of course you would. Monty's a good time. Monty's sometimes terrible. He's an awful dog. He <laughs> he is terribly trained. I don't know what the owners are doing with him. <laughs> so wouldn't you just love a brat like mm, that? Was mm, what you would get a little brat man, of a baby, daughter. When you first start the baby, they you they can't sleep at night. You yes, gotta they can. change don't them. Speak it. Don't speak that on yourself. It'll be a baby that sleeps at night. Angel, that's no. They that's regardless. Not, you'll sleep at night. That's what I always. I used was to a say. baby downstairs. People would be like, "Is the baby sleeping that night?" I don't know. I'm asleep. <laughs> Why would I know what the baby's doing? I, that'll be in I'll the be on the road. Business. I'm not going to see. The baby ain't going to know me like my kid. You see the baby on the road strapping to you. You used to wear no. a purse. You used to wear a whole purse during the first part of your set. You could wear a whole baby. My sons, Zay Zay and JoJo, the best part about my career is I wasn't popping when they were young, young. I didn't get popping until they started not caring about me anyway. But this new baby. Yeah, I love it. Mm-mm. It would have some good videos, though. My TikTok would be popping. Wouldn't it? Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. The brand deals alone. What would you, what was the baby's at be? Because there's already a baby on stage. Mm. Be, I would take that back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, you have the, to. the heir to the onstage throne. The McKinley and Makaya, they're out. Oh, they have Y'all need to be M&Ms. Goosby babies. I'll, I'll hit Instagram. Baby on stage is actually back available. Because Mel changed theirs to babies on stage. You should grab you better it. Take it. It would right be now. the official, true, one and only baby on stage. You better take it right now. It's gone. Yeah, Somebody, it's just gone. It. <laughs> Somebody just Somebody took it. Somebody just. Somebody took Totter on stage because they thought we were going to change the name, and they think they were we were going to sell it, like want to buy it from them. No, but we were like, hey, it'll be baby on stage till she's thirty eight. <laughs> right. I'm still a baby. Mm-hmm. I'm an adorable. We got to take the baby to on. To, so you're thinking about it? No. Come on, no, I see the way you're tired. I would get a vasectomy before I would think they about can, it. They can. That's why I said a surrogate. They can go in there and get that egg out. Mm-hmm. Even with the vasectomy, they can oh, find yeah. the sperm? Uh, you don't have a vasectomy. That's what you pay for. I'm saying. I know. I'm going to get one. No, they'll get. She'll get it out of you before that happens. <laughs> they'll give it to the spirit, and then the spirit will go mm-hmm. in there. And... Yeah. All I right. think everybody would love it. Your Patreon would boom, too. No. It, why would the Patreon boom? Because y'all would film the birth, and it would only be for Patreon. You're not understanding. Lie. Do I need to teach a master class <laughs> to you? You got to monetize <laughs> these children. They cost too and much to raise. And then you can make a prank video in the delivery room. I don't have the baby, my baby getting bit by a hyena. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, come on, banger, banger, banger. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Bottom of the Beautiful, next up on Patreon. Uh, bonus episode. We'll figure out when we're going to do that. Get your tickets to us, to our shows. <clears throat> Be on the lookout sure. for the next flyer. All right. Bye. 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 Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kevin Stay. And that chick angel.